Hello guys and welcome back to Get Set Python. In our previous video, we saw how Open Weather Map API works, and today we will use it in our Python script to build our project. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, first of all, we need to install additional dependencies that we need to use Open Weather Map API, and it can be installed from your terminal using this command sudo pip3 install request library now hitting enter you can see that i have already installed it on my system but for you it will take some time to get installed now we just have to visit this open weather map site and Sign in first of all. So now we just have to visit these API docs and just use the link that we saw last time. So I'm just copying this link and opening in my new browser and you can see that we have got the data now this link is called our api endpoint and let me explain the bits and pieces of these url so this is the main url this q equal to london comma uk is our query that is our city here and this app id is our api key that we got here so this api key will be different for you and this one is mine here and you can see that this thing matches with this part so first of all we have to import request library now since we want to get the weather of our city we have to remove this london uk part and we have to get the city name from the user so city is equal to input enter your city and in this way we can get the city from the user now we have to use that city here so q is equal to this curly braces dot format city now what it will do is it will format this url by adding the city in place of these curly braces so that's how you format a string now we have to send an http request to get the data from this url so the syntax for that is request dot get and pass the url now if you want to learn more about request you can watch my web scraping playlist to get a more brief idea about how this works now let me just show you first how we have got the data so i'm just running this script by writing python3 weather1.py and let's try with delhi city now this is our response object and what we want is we want data so our data will be response dot json and let me just print data so for delhi we have got all this data and let me just show you here so 
if we enter Delhi here you can see that the wind speed here is 4.6 meter per second and here it is 4.6 this degree is 80 and degree here is also 80 now as we discussed last time if we want to get the data in our units we have temperature is equal to 30 because we have used matrix unit but you can see here that the temperature is 306 because here we haven't used this matrix so I'm just copying this thing and adding it here and if we try and run this again you will see that we got the data right here and temperature is 33 but you will find that this is much difficult to read so let's install another dependency which will give us a more beautiful view of this data so sudo pip3 install pprint now this is also installed in my system but it will take some time for you so from pprint import pprint and instead of printing if we pprint our data now this is not required so let's see how this works now you can see that we got much beautiful data in a more readable format so you can see that we have code latitude 28.65 same as here longitude this id main description and this is the temperature that we want so let's try to get our desired data so temperature will be this data and then we will use this square brackets and we can see that temperature is in main so main and then we have it with key temp json data works just similar to python dictionary and you can access the values by these square brackets so if you want to get wind speed you can use data because this whole is data then wind now this will give you these two details and if you write speed here this will give you wind speed now similarly for latitude you have data then this coord code and then lat and same is the case for longitude so data code uh, longitude and this will give you longitude now if you want description also you can get from data weather because it is in weather then it is in zero then it is in description so you can see that we can get data very easily by using apis so let's just print our results so temperature and okay let me just show you another way of printing things so temp by using commas now print wind speed and this time we will print by using format now these are all same things just I want to demonstrate how you can print by using different formats so print wind speed now latitude comma dot formats and latitude here 
now longitude dot format longitude you will see soon that this format method of printing things is more easy and more beautiful than this comma thing and i'll just show you in a minute first let's see what we have got from this thing so enter the city and i think i messed up a little bit here it was not commas and you can see that we got all the things temperature that is 33 wind speed that is 4.6 latitude longitude description and similarly you can get all the things that you want from this list but let me just print the units too so for wind speed we have meter per second and for temperature if we want to print the units we have to use another comma and then write degree celsius or celsius this way but if we used our format notation this will replace these curly braces by this temp thing so temperature colon and here we will get our temperature now we can write degree celsius just like this so this is the advantage of using format function so we have got all these details so you can see that this is how easy it is to use an api to get the required weather data and we'll just see for one more city before ending this video so for mumbai we have 33 let's select some colder cities so for srinagar i believe yeah so we have a different temperature let's see how it works and for srinagar we got temperature that is 5.26 wind speed 0.4 and rest of the details are also correct and in the description we got light rain so you can see how this open weather map api works with python so let me just summarize all the steps for you so first we have to import our dependencies and the only dependency that we require is request this pprint was just used to get the data in a more beautiful format or you can refer to the data from this api page itself so import the request library get the city name from the user and then this is our url and we have to format the url with our city name so q is equal to curly braces dot format and our city and this will substitute city in place of these curly braces now we have to send an http request to get this data into our python script so we will use request dot get and in the arguments we have to pass the url now this will return us a response object and to get the actual data we have to use response object dot json and this will give us data in json format which is very much similar to python dictionary now to get the individual elements from this data itself we have to use these square brackets and these things are the keys and these are the values so we just have to pass the keys here to get the desired values so for temperature this is the whole data and temperature is here that is data and then main and then temp so data in square brackets we have main and temp for wind speed we have data then wind then speed for latitude 
we have data then curled and then long lat for longitude similarly we have long and for description we have data then weather then this zero and this zero is the index value so we don't have to write quotes here and then we have description now similarly if you want this name you just have to use data and then in square brackets name now we are just printing all the values that we received from this api so i hope you are through with all the steps and in the next video we will get the data of our location from the latitudes and the longitudes instead of passing the city name ourselves so see you in the next video till then stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python